you're watching Popular Cruising and our review of the MSC Davina from MSC Cruises. Quite honestly, when we first sailed on the ship in the Caribbean, she was not ready for prime time. But now we're happy to report her software is just as great as her hardware. To start, MSC Davina's accommodations are handsomely decorated and spaciously appointed. And as usual, our teddy bear friends approve, but they're easy critics. The desk area has a convenient array of outlets, but we really would like to see more on the way of storage. And even on a rainy day, a balcony is nice to have. The bathrooms are also cleanly designed, with lovely glass shelving, and the overall space is surprisingly roomy, thanks in part to a cleverly designed shower, with fixed doors that conveniently swing out of the way when not in use. And the square footprint makes maneuvering while bathing much easier. Of course, the creme de la creme of accommodations on board is the Sophia Loren Royal Suite. The one-of-a-kind stateroom is part of the exclusive MSC Yacht Club, where private venues are reserved for guests booked therein. Like this dedicated concierge area and library. In our opinion, the best space reserved for yacht clubbers is the Top Sail Lounge. This great observation lounge even serves high tea, with an always stunning view over the bow. The MSC Yacht Club even includes the one pool and bar deck area, which is yet another perfect retreat for sunbathers and swimmers alike. There's even a side food service area for snacks throughout the day. And Les Mews is the MSC Yacht Club's exclusive restaurant, with great views and seating to go around. Great dishes served here include Rockefeller oysters and lobster tail. Of course, there's still plenty of fun to be had by everyone on board, like the relaxing infinity pool with views off the back of the ship. Sunbathers have plenty of places to escape to, such as Le Pru and its secluded jacuzzis. Just forward of which is the MSC Sports Arena, which under less rainy conditions is perfect for gameplay. And for a small extra fee, the Top 18 exclusive solarium provides privacy like the MSC Yacht Club. And for thrill seekers, anyone nine or older can take advantage of the water slide. Which was actually quite fun. And of decent length. There was never much of a line either, so you could always come back for another splashdown. The cool UFO-like Galaxy Disco and restaurants overlook the pool deck, which features an array of awesome water fountains when it's less windy, as well as a poolside screen. The aqua fun continues even indoors with the covered pool that I won't even begin to try and pronounce. Wellness is naturally the focus of the MSC Aurea Spa. From its treatment rooms to the fitness center. They may be sped up, of course, but just look at them go. The spa even impressively includes a bar, sitting area, and retail shop. Back inside that UFO we saw earlier is Sky and Stars, the conference center and library on board. It's also where you'll find the Galaxy Disco, which serves as an observation lounge during the day. Virtual World is where you'll find not only video games, but also a Formula One simulator that my friend and colleague Aaron Saunders is trying out right here. Attached is also 4D Cinema for other motion simulator rides. The kids facility is where you'll find e Poofy, or the Smurfs in English, or whatever language that is. With a playful outdoor area and character mural. The teens get their own area too. A colorful space that could even be fitting for international graffiti artist Banksy. 
And for adult fun, the casino is a great place to try your luck. Particularly because we cannot applaud it enough for being delightfully non-smoking. For those few without Wi-Fi devices, the Cyber Cafe Internet Lounge is perfect for you. And those seeking retail therapy have plenty of shops on board to choose from. From logo items to the photo gallery, jewelry and fashion items, and our personal favorite, the ship's amazing candy and toy shop. The excursion offices were a part of La Dolce Vita is on display, a fantastic showcase of black and white celebrity portraits taken in Italy during the 1950s. Even the atrium on board is something else. With dual guest relations desks, and stunning staircases, luxuriously embedded with Swarovski crystals. All of which can perhaps be taken in with Willy Wonka in a glass elevator ride. With Mediterranean roots, you'd accurately expect the ship's dining to be something special. At the buffet, one of the areas where the wonderful portrait series continues, you'll find tasty international offerings, including genuine Italian pizza. The specialty Galaxy Disco restaurant serves an amazing tasting menu. But unfortunately, the dining room is too dark at night to share any photos of the food. Thankfully, we can show you the incredible gelato on board. We believe these flavors should be enjoyed as frequently as possible. Chocolate and raspberry included. One of the ship's neat bars is an open-air terrace near the back of the ship by the infinity pool. I just knew Willy Wonka had to be on board because Piazza del Doge has chocolate falls, yummy specialty treats, and even more gelato that can be enjoyed in one of the ship's best design venues. The ship's main dining rooms are the Black Crab and Villa Rosa restaurants, the latter of which has a more pleasing decor in our opinion. Food served here includes roasted marinated sea scallops, homemade shrimp ravioli pasta, and ever-wonderful prime rib au jus. A great spot for drinks before or after dinner is the bold Silver Lounge Bar. And for a pick-me-up, you can't go wrong with the Sega Fredo brand coffees at Cafe Italia. Actually, our favorite here wasn't a coffee at all, but this wonderful chocolate cherry concoction. For even more diversity, the sports bar is a casual gathering place, complete with bowling at sea and specialty pub fare, like this massive portion of fish and chips. La Cantina di Baccio is where you can enjoy fine wines or even blend your own fine wines. The winemaker experience makes you feel like you're in chemistry class again, where the homework is much more enjoyable, as my friend Alex confirms. The already tasty pizza at the buffet may be complimentary, but the specialty Pizza Italy pies are the best on board. In fact, I'm getting hungry as I record this voiceover. And before long, it's time to order another one. Don't let the casual decor fool you, because the adjacent Italy Steakhouse is one of the finest specialty restaurants at sea, serving divine pastas, mouth-watering steaks, and sweet temptations for dessert. The adjoining Ristorante Italia offers an even more exclusive dining experience, among photographs of great Italian ocean liners. Entertainment on board is as diverse as the dining, with the elegant black and white lounge setting the mood for live music and dancing. Great live music that extends to the more colorful Golden Jazz Bar. as well as the graceful Art Deco La Luna Piano Bar and its fun, stylized nautical theming. Of course, the pinnacle of onboard entertainment is found in the Pantheon Theater, itself an architectural masterpiece reminiscent of Frank Gehry. MSC Davina's best shows are the opera performances, like this abridged version of Verdi's La Traviata.
Musical tributes include those to Michael Jackson and his signature dance moves, such as Thriller. Other performances are really direct interpretations of Disney films, like Pirates of the Caribbean and Alice in Wonderland, where the show's originality comes from the outstanding acrobatic performances. Thanks for watching our review of the MSC Davina. Please feel free to subscribe to our channel, watch our other MSC videos, and visit popularcruising.com.